What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to share with you my top five favorite superheroes of all time. This list here, for me, it was very hard to narrow it down to just five. There's a lot that are really close that should have or could have been on this list as well. Iron Man, Captain America, uh, the list goes on, Black Panther. There's so many superheroes. I just love the Marvel Universe in general. DC a little bit, but I'm more into Marvel. Uh, so it was hard for me to narrow it down to five superheroes, but I wanted only five for this video because any longer it would have been a really long video and sometimes you guys hate when I do long videos. So let's just get into this. So number five is the Incredible Hulk. For me, the Incredible Hulk used to be number one, but for the movies that came out over the past few years, Ant-Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, Deadpool, they kind of shuffled him down to number five, which is still a great position. But I think it's mostly because when I was a kid, I was bullied. A lot of people are bullied whenever they're a kid. And I uh, can resonate with the Incredible Hulk because when he's angry, he turns into this creature that nobody wants to screw with anymore. So I thought that was amazing to do because him doing that, nobody wanted to mess with him. If I had that ability, I would honestly love that. So um, I think that's why I've always drawn towards the Incredible Hulk. Now, I used to love him in the movies. I love all of the Incredible Hulk movies. The part, the, the fact that he's part of the Avengers in the movies is awesome. I'm a huge fan of that. Who currently plays the Incredible Hulk. I'm a huge fan of his before he even became the Incredible Hulk and started to go into the movies. I, I loved his movies beforehand, so... He's a great actor. I love the comic books. I wish I had more Incredible Hulk comic books, but I've always been an Incredible Hulk fan, and I think I always will be. Next is the Ant-Man. When the movies came about, the Ant-Man movie and then eventually Ant-Man and the Wasp, the actor that played him, I'm a huge fan of his. And I think the movies, it has the comedy, because I'm a huge fan of comedy as well. I love Marvel, but I also love comedy. And the fact that the actor could bring the two of them together in the Ant-Man franchise, I was always a huge fan of. And movies really helped me because they had the humor, especially who plays Ant-Man. Uh, I'm a huge fan of his. So the humor in the Marvel Universe is awesome to see when it's done right. Next is Star-Lord. I'm a huge fan of Chris Pratt. Always have been. I love him. He's part of so many franchises that I'm a huge fan of. Jurassic Park, I've always been a fan of them. That's one of my favorite childhood franchises. And the fact that he's a part of it now is awesome. The fact that he's in Guardians of the Galaxy, which is another franchise that I'm a huge fan of. It brings the an amazing story. Uh, it brings the humor once again. I'm a huge fan of comedy. And the fact that it's Chris Pratt, I love his movies. I think he is a hilarious. And I, I just love everything uh, about him. And the fact that he is Star-Lord is awesome. In Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm a huge fan of Batista because I've always been a fan of wrestling, so Batista is awesome. Vin Diesel is in it, which is also one of my favorite franchises, is Fast and the Furious. Star-Lord would be my favorite character in the Guardians of the Galaxy. He's number three for me for my superheroes list just because of what he represents. So I love this story. I love everything about him. I love him in the movies. I love Chris, Chris Pratt, who is the actor that plays him, so that's why he's so high on my list. Next up is Spider-Man, which is, in my opinion, everybody's favorite superhero, at least some point in their life. I love the current Spider-Man now. I remember the original three, Spider-Man. I've always been a fan of Spider-Man, though. The cartoons as a kid were awesome. Uh, I have a lot of his comic books, which are awesome because I'm a collector. I love collecting certain things like that. And I always like looking through Spider-Man comics because they are some of the greatest of all time. And that is why he is so high on my list. He used to be number one, but... When Deadpool came out, who is my number one, Ryan Reynolds is awesome. He is freaking genius. I think he fits this role perfectly. I don't think any other actor could have done what Ryan Reynolds did for Deadpool. Just the comedy, the humor, how he, like his attitude with the character when he's in costume. His attitude to begin with, Ryan Reynolds is awesome. I, I love his humor. I love everything about him. Even before he became Deadpool, Whenever it was a Ryan Reynolds movie, I would always check it out because even if the movie wasn't something I was really into, I'm a huge fan of Ryan Reynolds and what he brings to his characters in whatever movies he's in, he just does a phenomenal job, I find. So I've always been a fan of Ryan Reynolds. 
Deadpool. I didn't know much about him before the movies came out, but I love the story of Deadpool. I love what Deadpool represents. I love the fact that he is um, in X-Force, and the rumor is that there is going to be a Deadpool 3 movie in the next couple of years now that Marvel is in charge of Deadpool. There's rumor that there's going to be an X-Force movie, which I think would be awesome to incorporate a few of the lesser-known mutants from X-Men into that. I think that'd be awesome, but Deadpool 2... Uh, Deadpool 1 held a special place in my heart, but Deadpool 2 had a lot more intense full scenes, I felt. It was the first time introducing the X-Force, and I thought it was awesome. Cable was in that movie, which I've always been a fan of him, and the actor that plays him is awesome. So, to me, Deadpool is my number one, always will be right now, just because, again, I love humor. He resonates with me. I love Ryan Reynolds, so... That was, I guess, mainly for all my choices for this video. It boils down to the actor that plays them. If they do a really good job, that's why I am more into that character. And it makes me fall in love with the franchise and more in depth with Marvel. If the actor that they choose does a really good job, I usually fall in love with the character instantly. So that is why I made these choices. But it's not, not all of these choices were um, because of the movies. I was always a fan of Spider-Man and the Incredible Hulk. I have their comic books. I loved their cartoons. I loved uh, the video game. The Spider-Man video game that came out last year was awesome. So it's not just all movie related and the actors that played them, but they were definitely a big part because they make you really fall in love with the character and the amount of dedication they do with their characters going into these Marvel movies is incredible. So... It'd be nice to see what happens in the Marvel Universe in the future, but these are my five favorite superheroes of all time. Uh, like I said, the Incredible Hulk, Captain America, Black Panther, and there's so many more that could have been on this list, but I had to narrow it down to uh, five. So comment down below what are your favorite superheroes of all time, and I am going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.